I keep asking God, will I make it? Only time can tell them niggas kill my brother. Got no judges, they said, oh well. Came from a system where we are probably more likely failing. We ain't have nothing. We was trying to make a dope sale. Posted by that star, let the fiends by the dope there. And I ain't have nothing but a dream and some hope there. Mama always told me, boy, don't go there. And nobody was checking up on me. They said, oh well. You gon' eat or you gon' starve, nigga, oh well. You gon' hustle, you gon' rob, nigga, oh well. You gon' rap or get a job, nigga, oh well. Catch a charge and do the time, nigga, oh well. Oh, I was a dream manifested to reality Find out they wasn't real, the fake love that they had for me Had me moving blind, but it was something that I had to see Coming from South Park, every day more likely a tragedy This wasn't a choice, this was something that it had to be So when I show my ass, congratulate me, don't be mad at me Treat the bitch like shit, my daddy proud, my mama mad at me They tryna in my brain to take the juice up on my battery It's the pill, the way to drink, the money is the trap for me Lie my cousin to a rent, my go talk to the breaks for me And tell him don't be mad at me I'm tryna be a better me, not tryna be a sad me So every time I take some pistol perkins said relaxing me. No, I got the snap in me. I'm thinking that's the pack in me. Don't talk on shit, they ask me. I thought that was the last of me. One homicide came to the hospital, tried to handle me. I thought that'd be the end of me. But I'm still here crazy how they don't wanna see me breathing. All that blood that I lost, I see my brothers bleeding. I'm on a mission by myself, I left the fam grieving. If I start rapping, they start tripping, they got every reason. And I can't quit on what the mission was from the beginning. Wanna see blood, but they tell me don't believe in reaving. But we said, fuck it, grab that car, find a spot to see them. Now we pulling out them shots and I all them people screaming, and can't nobody stop that man when they wake up the demon. And it's the Lord tonight, not the Lord that some of us been seeking. And I ain't trying to see the judge, I ain't trying to see the deacon. And ain't nobody helping us from all the trouble. I keep asking in. God, will I make it? Only time can tell them niggas kill my brother. Got no judges, they said, oh well. Came from a system where we are probably more likely failing. We ain't have nothing, we was trying to make a dope sale. Posted by that star, let the fiends by the dope there. And I ain't have nothing but a dream and some hope there. Mama always told me, boy, don't go there. And nobody was checking up on me. They said, oh well. You gon' eat or you gon' starve, nigga, oh well. You gon' hustle, you gon' rob, nigga, oh well. You gon' rap or get a job, nigga, oh well. Catch a charge and do the time, nigga, oh well. Oh well. But today, I was told to get up. I started seeing uh, all these signs. I seen Blue Jay. I had seven Canadian geese, two swans. So I'm trying to read what the universe is saying so I can translate it. Uh, the Malachi situation is a unique situation. I read to the people. Um, with the Empress order that um, was given by the a competent judge to enforce the uh, diplomatic status of Malachi. When I read that into the public to let the people know what's going on, I was watching the Nuwabians, the Sabians, old Ansars, old Ansars, how they moving. The infiltration a black devil is so organized and Malachi not in there for what they say he in there for. He in there because of flat out betrayal. Um, seeing how everything is unfolding. I keep telling people it's not about money. Money not the issue. We're getting any other chiefs that's been held in captivity out. The only remedy is sovereign jurisdiction. The sovereign jurisdiction, not nationality. The sovereign overrides nationality. It's about organizing we the people to understand what's taking place across tribes, or across tribes on the land in the face of a common enemy. I never see I never seen anything like this phenomenon. They said that the infiltrators was more organized than the FBI and the FBI and the CIA. And I'm like, that's some organized ass shit. So as we make our steps to regain our sovereign jurisdiction, 
this is an ongoing process. Everybody wants um, a fast food, pop it in the oven, microwave fix. This don't, that doesn't exist in reality. That's the um, conditioning of the fast food culture. And now we are closing in on where they gonna have to, they hand gonna be forced. They hand gonna be forced to release the chiefs to allow them to address their tribes. It's chief y'all don't know about. It's chief y'all don't know about that's been held in captivity. We know about the ones who are higher ranking, like um, Larry Hoover. We know about Big Chucky. We know them names because those are urban legends that's larger than life. When you look at the infiltration that the Panthers went through, you go back to the FBI snitch program. We got to out strategize these people. Go back to what Martin said. said build, baby, build. Organize, baby, organize. What did Malcolm say? M Malcolm say they will use the media to make the good guy look like the bad guy and convince the public to demand the lynching and demand the blood of a righteous man. We looking at this stuff. Y'all looking at stuff, but y'all ain't paying attention. I've been telling people for years now, Diddy Job was Clive Davis. The chain reaction is what you're looking for. Did he get investigated? And now Clive is in peril. The same one put the hit on Whitney. Same one put the hit on Bobby Christina. He the same one on the face records. Same one on So So Death. He the same one that slid up under Aretha Franklin and and dog handled these people. And think that that judgment ain't coming for his head? It's going to blow y'all mind when y'all find out who the facilitators are. See, they think they can move to places like Mexico and escape the wrath of this beast. And the beast is the legal fiction that you call the U.S. corporation or the United States government. They can't give it back to us until they get done rounding them up. While we looking at what's going on, remember the chain reaction. Remember the chain reaction. One thing leads to another thing that leads to another thing. Malachi said, getting me out of prison is like unlocking a combination lock. We can't trust the way that his clan moving to send him directly back. So we are gonna have to do what the tribes call bridging the clans. It's not about money not gonna get Malachi. People keep trying to raise money to get him out. Let them raise money, they raising it for themselves. They gonna tell you everything that I've been telling you, but they gonna tell it to you according to how they talk to the individual tribe. Angel Bay might not call them dirty moors, he might call them infiltrators. And he know who they is. When you fighting a war, you have to know the different strategies that you face with. You got to look at it from as many angles as possible before you determine the right direction to move in because it will reveal itself. Keep going over the problem until you can find the solution because the solution is in the problem. It's, a, it's about looking at the law of opposites. You have to look at these things in order to look at it from so many different angles that you can't be duped. The saddest thing, whole struggle right now, is you have people that are related to a person that's done work that's done work, massive amounts of work, and earned everything they got and feel like because they related that the person that earned it should finance their whole life just because they related. That is the most selfish 
self-centered, egotistical, narcissistic manner of thinking. You Just because you have the title of prince don't mean you're going to be a king. You might not earn your right to sit on the throne as the king. So you just going to live your life and you're going to be 90 years old and they still going to be calling you Prince Charming. You feel because you related to the one who did the work that by proxy that they work should be attributed to you. It don't work like that. That's why many are called and few are chosen because don't nobody want to do this hard ass work. Don't nobody want to grab the bear knowing that he might not survive. They want to fly under the radar. They don't want to ruffle no feathers. They don't want to step on no toes. They end up with a brown nose. They end up being a willing participated in, participant in their own subjugation and oppression. The only person you can help get free is the one who value freedom more than they value servitude and bondage. But the ones who want to go alone to get alone, they make it hard for the ones that's putting in the work to get us all to the place where we can be able to be rightfully compensated for the work that we do. This knowledge I be giving y'all, I was already paid for. Why I don't do arguments and debates? Because what's the first thing that somebody say in a debate? What? Because what's the first thing that somebody say in a debate? What's your source? So now I'm arguing somebody else's opinion as if it's fact. They not more valid to me than I am to me. But the literacy rate in the 1800s, who is these people that's writing this paperwork? Who is these people that's writing this paperwork? They all in secret societies because the only people that was learning to read and write was the ones who was a member of a brotherhood. Reading and writing is not commonplace in the historical um, narrative as people would like to believe. So when you have slaves writing these narratives in perfect King's English, Queen's English, or whoever the hell English it is, who taught them how to read? Who taught them how to read? I thought it was punishment by death if you caught one of us reading and writing, but you got these people writing these slave narratives. They writing receipts for ships, right? Who is writing these receipts? All of them is part of a secret society agenda. The cannons are facing the water. Think about that. You got foreigners invading the continent to get slaves. The cannons is facing the water. Do you believe everything these people tell you? If the cannons is facing the water, the threat wasn't coming from the land. Same with Puerto Rico. Most of us don't know that it was really something called a code of thieves. They tell us there's no honor among thieves, but they follow a strict set of rules. Why are they thieves in the first place? Because they want what somebody else got without putting in the work. This is where we at. We facing a group of infiltrators willing to kill him for it rather than let him retire on the fruits of his own labor. Here I am. I'm one of Larry boys. I'm coming from Hoover. Larry Hoover is sitting in the same place as Dr. Malachi, the Nuwabian chief. The same place my kindred chief, Chief Malik Angel Bay, is the chief from my hometown from the other side of the family tree. He, he out the red. Another chief sit here and watch this farce of a trial. Am Abu Jamal Alami. Y'all know him in the history books as H. Rap Brown. Same place. The same people. Still here running the same scam, being exposed. And they calling themselves Zionist Jews. Because now they have to dirty up the name of the divine feminine, the great mother. We call it Isis in English. But they told you it was Jesus. 
So 1500 years before there was ever a J, before there was ever a J, they was using the I, but in order to confuse you, they made you become fishers of men looking for a woman. The whole time they told you to your face, behind your back. They find both sides from Switzerland. They all been rounded up. A lot of people late as hell. They all been rounded up. They done rounded all of the royals up. The royals has surrendered their royals to a guy named um, um, J.F. Kalunji. For those who don't know who that is, that's John F. Kennedy Jr. But we don't know nothing about that stuff because we don't know what these people doing, even though they telling us. <clears throat> we have to reorganize. I got a tribe in mind, but that's the St. Louis knot. Red House. <laughs> a flag maker. When we looking at trying to help somebody, you can't help a person when the help is going to put them in the worst circumstance, situation than they currently in. Help all of the way. Don't just help some of the way. Don't, don't tell me you're going to help me and then leave me stranded. But most people can't endure to the end. And that's why those who endure to the end receive the crown of life. Because this is not for the weak at heart. Because this is not for the weak at heart. This is some heart renting um, information to review when you can't send a man home because you got people in his family that wish ill on him because they feel like they entitled to what he built up with his empire, how he built his community. They want they want him to disregard who he chose to give his stuff to and give it to them because they related. That's it's it's hot. It, this is as bad as finding out that the goddamn white man ain't white. This nigga walking around infiltrating our organization, smiling with us, talking about kill whitey, and he white. It's a sad affair. To all my riding, I ain't never think nobody looked like me would shoot me. Yeah, because they look like us, but they not us. All skin folk and kin folk. Are you ride or die? Or are you ready to die? Are you ride or die? Or are you ready to die? It's a difference. People will ride with you till the shit get thick. Then <clears throat> some people will ride with you till the shit get thick. Then they bail it. But then you got some that when the shit ain't thick, you can't find them. But when it get thick, you can't get rid of them. They making sure you straight through the hard part. And because we don't hear about them, when times is easy, we assume that they not watching in case they need it. But see, certain people pay attention to the people that's good for them and good to them. Your ego and soul, can't they don't know what I'm doing and they driving themselves mad trying to figure out what I'm doing as if they don't see me doing it in real time. Everything that I said, I produced receipts. They don't know nothing about the kinds of war till I brought it up. Now, people starting to produce more receipts on top of the receipts that I already produced. When I came and I said we was already here, I wasn't the first one said it. We writing a new reality as we speak by changing the perception of those who had been duped. Once you realize that anything that's biblical is a post-1492 invasion doctrine for the backstory of the Christians because you need the Jews to validate the Christians and then you need the Muslims to validate them both by all going to war with each other in the big old game of ring around the rosy. They all holding hands. They all in bed together. And all of them other people Keep coming in my video and under my post talking about what's your nationality? I'm a sovereign. I'm superior to a national. Don't ask my nationality again. I'm a sovereign. 
from the land, of the land, by the land, for the land. I ain't nobody's national. I'm nobody's citizen. And if you don't know what it is, it's above your pay grade. And you don't know how to put it together, then sit your tail down and watch the master while he works. See, we sit here and we won't and we won't and we won't, but we don't want to do nothing about it. We want everything in the universe to fall in our lap so we can say we manifested something. Do the best you can with what you know to each one teach one something that you know is tangible. That's all you can do. As you learn better, you're supposed to do better because that's part of the mission. As a human, we pass information to other humans in order to weave an understanding of what's taking place according to who sees the problem best. How do you know who sees the problem best? The one who sees the problem best is obligated to lead by ancestral decree by ancestral decree not because he want to be the leader it's like rudolph rudolph ain't the oldest reindeer he ain't the biggest reindeer it's just the reindeer that can see through the fog because his nose lit up they tell you the story backwards for you to flip it and you understand that your optics already flip everything to give you the illusion that you right side up when you walking upside down and you don't even know it. We got all of these leaders to stress. I have a particular talent based on my childhood upbringing that allows me to be able to look into a situation, look into a situation and see things other people cannot see. Everybody can't do that. A lot of people read a lot of books that tell you about how to do things in life in order to solve problems, but they can't translate what they seen on the paper. I see them owls. That's black girl magic. That's the Rudolph knockback on the Hooters flip, on the owl face, on the 420 flip, on the turnaround. It's a 550 to a big 50. So it's a 50 over 50, right? That's 100% on the knock to the knockback. When the message come in, you flip the code. And if your intuition is intact, you follow the information to the source of the, uh, of the, of the flip. So they call it knocking when somebody flips. When you get a response, that's a knockback. When you get a response, that's a knockback. When you flip the mirror, you show something. Flipping the mirror, there's a rule that says same but different. So you got the different clans knocking across the land to free all of the chiefs. And the more who understand what's working energetically, the more can contribute to the work. This is called taking control of the great egregore that we've allowed society to dictate. That we've allowed society to dictate unchecked when they say uh, a dragon he spit like a dragon that's what it mean or that's what it mean a dragon is a master of verbal communication where the words that the master say can actually illuminate your heart chakra once you've been bit by a dragon, you waking up. Once you've been bit by a dragon, you waking up. <laughs> right? It's like the comparative analysis. That's a white owl on the 420 knock, on the 2012 knock to a knockback. Off of dragons in flight. That's the master's knocking. That's what the seventh trumpet is the seventh master. The master of the sevens. That's the flipping of the line. So the seven and the seven flip seven off of master seven. And that's a divine man. And the divine man is going to tell you that the queen mother seat is 13. 13 makes a B. And the B is in flight. 
and the bees lands on the honey pot and the honey pot is a air and, and the air is a hare and the hare is a bunny and the bunny is hopping the 13th seat of the zodiac Tawaret <laughs> so all of these things is hieroglyphics in motion your reality is written I call it hieroglyphic animation what was the wicked doing to the righteous bondage and servitude debt is slavery capture them in debt and put them in bondage it's not designed for you to work your way out it's designed for you to wake your way up so that you can help everybody else get out we not trapped we trapping ourselves telling your inner god to remain unknown while you all the time waiting for somebody else to come and do your work for you and that's how you know can't nobody clear your karma but you because that's why you're here and like they say i just take family business personal so don't take it personally that i take family business personal because i'm serious about my family therefore family business becomes a serious matter either i'm gonna help as many of them as i can help or i ain't gonna help none of them i'm not gonna half ass it mama said don't half ass nothing if you if you go half ass it then don't put no ass in it at all it's always on my mind, on my mind, it's always on my mind, on my mind, it's always on my mind. Niggas get the picture. Been had ties, we really marvin my nigga. Ten toes down, was really starving my nigga. School of hard knocks, now this ain't harbor my nigga. Ain't no handouts, it's hunter be hunted. You hustle a star. The penitentiary taught me patience. Applying pressure, second nature. You were chosen, that's why they hate you. New losses came with the game. Maneuvering through the matrix. I keep a Neo in the hole. I don't trust nothing but me, Pope. Live by the flame, I'ma die by the cold Now I never give a name that's on my set and my soul You forever on my mind, my loved one's dead and gone Set in stone to the bone on hollow ground, took an oath yeah. For you I'm doing the most, doing the most. You forever on my mind Pressure on my chest and I can't breathe I survived a hustle trying to make it out the street When I'm asleep, I wake the nightmares in my dreams If I say I love you, then you know that's what I mean Put the pressure on my chest and I can't breathe I survived a hustle trying to make it out the street When I sleep, I wake the nightmares in my dreams If I say I love you, then you know that's what I mean Walking with it liquid I trust God in his weapon Fuck y'all in depression Stood tall with aggression Took a fall in the lessons Hard drawn in your blessings Into that water of fish Like your father had left you Or when your daughter forget you She not even your daughter You know you sort of forgetful Bitch, the start of my wisdom To your art or this pistol Shit, I for me some riddles And Rick Ross be a nigga I'm asking God for forgiveness Staring hard in the mirror No precaution of wisdom Just under porches with vengeance Body armors and swishes Rocket launch of scissors, I'm dying hard for my nigga. I talk to God when I finish. Going hard on shower shoes, finding form and position. Finally for me attention. Mighty morphin' no niggas. My endorphins are kicking. I've been tortured, I'm ignorant. Why my heart don't be feeling? I tried God, but I missed him. That's what always on my mind. It's always on my mind. On my mind. It's always on my mind. On my mind. It's always on my mind.